Okay, guys, today we're gonna start with the uh, program 2 lecture 16, uh, printing a string. We printed a string using um, the Urban Library, and today we're gonna print a string using low level assembly. Uh, remember, the Urban Library is considered as um, high level assembly because we're using the core write string call uh, write integer call read integer call read string all those are uh, let's say micros or functions procedures are done by uh, Kip Irvine who has the, he's a professor of go and watch school and he did those and made it easier for us so part two and try go look on both codes part one lecture 16 part one and part two and see the differences now i need to mount this is the dos box and this we use it to emulate the uh, dos on ubuntu or windows whatever you want so now first thing i need to do is mount uh, my assembler which is in directory home gate 8086 i mount it to the c drive so it's gonna act like a c drive so now i do c mm, if you do di uh, directory it print uh, all what you want here the files in that directory and i'm not sure if you've seen it this i want to move it a little bit here so you can see the edge and now what i want to do is um, I want to open an editor edit or you can what you can do is uh, hi daddy hi. what you can do is you can uh, either open uh, your own editor or open this editor the one they use daddy. and that's good daddy can I finish this I do wanna okay my phone and sorry guys and we can uh, do it now program it here i mean uh, so we use the include airvine here we don't use the include airvine here we need to start with the uh, what was it uh, dot small dot no it wasn't dot we had the, we had the dot stack and dot me, memory or move what was it let me okay Oh, it's open daddy it's open just touch it mm. thank you daddy one minute dot data we have here dot code and we have begin instead of main process you can uh, begin and here we have and begin and what was it oh the memory model yeah, daddy can you be quiet the memory model I think memory dot small or dot was it dot memory dot. let me okay we'll see it in a minute and end begin so now we declare our string we declare it the same way let's say we have string one and 
let's say define byte or byte and let's have it as double quotes and gate l better and and now we put the 10 or 0 a h and 13 and now we go to our code and first thing we do what do we need to do here we need to add extra stuff and let's try it without adding that but let's see this move or what do we need to move the offset yeah to dx offset and here we use dx not edx because this is a uh, 16 or we might yeah we can use let's see how this goes first now we'll have uh, this our uh, string and in everyone we we do call write string here we have to use this command which is printing a string 0 a move a h move we move to a h uh, 9 h 9 x or 9 even will work this is oh sorry this is a printing a string in and let's say print string system call and we do move a a h and we or uh, interrupt 21 interrupt 21 h calling the command uh, uh, or the kernel this is calling the kernel so it can do this system call which is printing the string which is calling std out let's say for a string and this is finished but here we need what remember we had exit and uh, uh, main end process in Massim. Now the exit here is done using move a h zero. This is exit zero. Mm -hmm. Exit and now we do move a h and we do the four a uh, for ch and this is the exit program system call let's say and how to know those system calls if let's go and open an internet now it's not letting me let's do file save and see what happens uh, program print let's name it okay and I'm trying the problem the mouse doesn't leave this let's exit I have not been saved yet. Save it now. Yes, save it. Saved. Okay, come on. Give me the mouse. Oh no. The mouse is hard sometimes to uh, use when you're doing. Uh, I 
I'm trying. I was doing tab to make it go to the. But okay, I might. My it's touch screen mine and it's not working. Not even the touch screen is working. But if you go Google, um, do DOS twenty a one H and do uh, you'll see all the uh, interrupt calls and I'll show you those in a minute after we finish this program so we can exit so now I'll do Massim and to check the program we named it program did I name it dot ASM no I didn't yeah unable to open okay edit now this mouse is not working here Come on. Okay. One minute, let me open the Internet Explorer as long as I can have it so we can see it. And it's slow, I don't know why. Here's guys the DOS I want to show you, but uh, guys uh, I'm not sure. The problem is I don't want to confuse you with. Okay, let's say I'm gonna show you. No. Mm, DOS twenty one uh, H DOS interrupts here they go and this is uh, think of it as base programming this is the lowest you can get to uh, let's say write a character to what do we need write a character to standard output DL return AL last character AH oh what what was the uh, AH02 we used AH09 moving AH09 write a string character input without echo 08 uh, let's see here write character to printer this moves it to a printer so first one zero h is read character from standard input with echo meaning a printed on the screen read character we can read it without printing it to the screen this is uh, zero two is a uh, right character to standard input so those are the main uh, zero uh, one and zero two and zero nine are the uh, most ones you're going to be using write a string buffer to input those the others you haven't used a lot you haven't seen so you're not going to need them that much most importantly is just to write character to printer those and open file a exit program if you see here that's why I put for CH close the doors then that's why I moved well uh, I did the 408 and let's go back to I need to uh, come on now I can move it 
No, don't do that to me. I'm just moving this here. Okay, we had program string, yeah? It's a little uh, bit annoying using the DOS, the uh, DOS box, but it's, it's good. I can show you later how to do it on. Program. Didn't we name it program string? Program print. Okay. I just want to change a line so we can save it as um, save as dot asm. Remember, it's really important. And I'm trying to think also, but let's finish this, and I shall explain the code in. Wow, I saved it, didn't I? Come on, I saved it. Okay, let's do mass M. Program print was it? Dot ASM. Four errors. Instruction or directive error, so it's a dot model, it's not memory, dot model small. Okay, program print dot asm. This we change this dot model uh, small is indicating that the, m the program is going to be small. We have dot dot model medium large on dot data. So that is good. Let's exit. No errors. Now we link it. Link. And we are going to link the object file it created. So dot obg. So we do link program print dot obg. No stack segment it didn't give us. We can put dot stack, but that's no problem. And now we do. I'm not sure if you've seen it. Look, come on, mouse. Trying to remove it a little bit so you can see all of it now we execute it we do program print
and you can see how it printed all this garbage with work. with my name let's see see my name in the corner if I'm trying to make this screen it's hard to control the mouse guys when you're on those that's why this is happening so i can't make it smaller and i can't move the screen I can move it to the right, but I can move it to the left. But anyway, the problem was let's do edit. Come on, and it stopped. Control C. Don't do that to me. D, 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 D. Now the keyboard is not. interacting but let me close it and let me reopen it those box Here I had to reopen the DOS box and now we need to mount it to C and we have home gate and 8086 and now we're gonna go into the C directory now I'm gonna go edit go to the file open If it was on, uh, what was I gonna? If it was on Ubuntu, it would be easier using NASM. NASM. And this is NASM. It gave me an error. The error was okay because, okay, we need to do here this is really important guys move ax and i want to move add data and then move to ds what whatever i have an ax so why did i do this why didn't i do move uh, let's say add data or ds add data add data add data will give me it's like a pointer it will get the address for this string one saying print from string one and here we didn't have string one and here now we're gonna have to pause you so with this we we're, we're just this is the real address programming there's different modes of programming i don't want to go into that now but for each program now we need to put this not an airline just in this why didn't i do this because i can't move 
uh, uh, 2ds immediately. No immediate value to a uh, segment registers. Those were in the restrictions. If you go and see the lecture about the instructions, I explained size mismatch. No move to segment. No immediate to segment register. I can't move to EIP. Why the instruction pointer EIP? I can move to that register. But that's uh, like they did it as security, so we don't uh, change the flow of the program. Because when you change the what what does the register EIP have in it? It has the uh, address of the next instruction to be executed. That makes the uh, computer faster, just the flow of the program faster. So if you go and change it, it's going to screw the flow of the uh, program. But uh, we move it here to AX first, then we move it to DS. DS is a 16 bit register. DS, CS, code segment, data segment, data segment. I'm just specifying where the data is where the data is go whatever we have in add data the address of a data put an ax then move it to the data segment here we have to do it manually like the programmer has to do it okay we're moving the offset here we're doing call and print string system call okay this is like call right string integer exit system call and this is exit program and this should be good and here let's put data segment register Or should be DS here. Add data, get the address from here, wherever this is saved in memory, and put it in the data segment. Code segment will be done by itself. And hopefully, now this will work. Let's see. And now I'll do massim program print dot ASM. Okay, link program print dot obj obj object and now we'll do the program print. Now it's jammed also, <coughs> but you can see it printed. And here we need the add the zero, add the zero. Now I can do anything. We need to add the zero. This is you get it when you run programs. This happens, but we need to now. I want to show you uh, a couple of more things. Okay, now Nancy home. Gaze and I mount it to my comp uh, assembler and now see and now edit program print dot ASM uh, 
we put a zero here to end it. We didn't need to worry about that. And, and we can do here the load effective address also. So, Massim program print dot asm and we do link program print dot obj and program print or print dot execute it also printed it Why is it doing this? It should there should be something to kill it, but it's not killing it. Usually control C, Control Z, Control Q will will kill it, but it's not doing that okay guys let's go and see what's wrong with the program I have my dot data here dot model small dot code begin and I have oh and I have my end begin this is another problem each time yeah, I move the error uh, down, it goes and does that. So I'm not gonna use the error. So if you begin dot code dot data moving, I this is the real address mod. Now I'm moving to dx offset string one. Now I'm moving ah nine. That's the print string. Interrupt twenty one eight. Okay, we're not. We use system calls, but oops. When we use system calls, we always have to do what? Integer 21h. We call the kernel. This is calling the kernel. And I'll explain the kernel in a minute. I'll try to explain it briefly. I know it's gonna, it's a, it's a, it's a really, I think a little bit complicated topic, but but I'll try my best. And now I'm gonna do. Link and this printed, but it gave us control. But why is it printing this extra garbage? It shouldn't have shouldn't have done that mm. we'll see but now let's go back to the program and try to show you what's uh, explain to you dot asm dot model we said uh, I was trying to this will now here will get us in the real address mode it will give what the data segment register where the data is which is this and if I move it here it should work okay uh, and now here I'm moving the address 
of string 1, this is the first string because if I add another string, to dx, now I'm saying go print whatever you find in this address, which is in dx, and print it to the screen. And this is, uh, remember, those, those, those interrupts, interrupts. And integer, well, I would say integer 21, 8, it's an interrupt 21. And this is here. Uh, the follower list of this intro, DOS interrupt has been extracted from a large list uh, compiled by there are so those are all the move AH that you need to use uh, now you need to use you need to know you won't use all of those I've never used all of those I mainly use one to read uh, write and uh, write string let's see if you and what do we mean by an interrupt let's go and I said it's uh, it's calling what it's calling the kernel now we have two modes user mode and kernel mode. Uh, in kernel mo mode, we give. Uh, remember, uh, if you when you, what's a program? It's a set of, of instructions to that CPU, to the computer, to the machine. So those are set of instructions to the machine. Now, when I'm not writing a program, who's controlling the 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 machine? It's the operating system or the kernel. Every machine has a kernel. And when I think the best thing to know if you're really good, a professional computer scientist, is program your own kernel. Programming your own kernel is uh, a little bit complicated, but this you know everything in the computer, everything from scratch. You know how to work, how it works, so you can do uh, all of those. Lots of people don't take assembly, C++ programmers, they're really good in there, and they don't know what's an interrupt, like meaning in, in DOS, in, in, in assembly. What does interrupt 21H mean? What does move AH09H uh, mean? What does move AH0102 uh, mean? Those are interrupts. And what we mean by them, before we go into the program, before we start running it, the kernel is responsible, is controlling the machine. Now, a programmer, me, you, the programmer, is giving instructions to the machine. Here, when I say move uh, a system call, it calls the kernel saying here now I'm gonna give you control because I need to do a uh, C out or CN I need the standard input they call it standard input standard output and standard error the IO stream 3 and those are 0 1 and 2 and you'll see them if you write a C++ code you if you ever use arc and arc in brackets like an array zero and one and those inside uh not the body of main inside the braces of main not the curly braces remember when we wrote like let me write it here integer main sometimes we you see you see codes using arc uh, or rv and arv and they give it values let's say 0 arv1 those are the system calls you can make your program do those but this is a little bit advanced so that's why I don't want to confuse you about it but think of it now you you need to understand what's what's a system call and what's an 
an interrupt. An interrupt is the same as a system call, but from its name. An interrupt, it interrupts everything. And the, uh, the kernel has to reply for that interrupt. Saying stop whatever you, ha whatever you have and here, take care of this. Something went wrong. Or do this. So now, I'm given instructions to the CPU. I'm in system mode, user mode. User mode, programmer. Kernel, we have, we use system calls to access the kernel or to give commands to the kernel. Like some of the system calls are write, read. If you go to the C out, C in, they're programmed using system calls. You can see them. Go check them. That's really good to know. So to access, I want to access standard input, standard input. I'll use a system call. Do this. Now I'm doing as I'm calling the uh, standard output. But who's going to call it for me? I say, here, kernel, interrupt, 21H. Here I'm calling the kernel or the operating system. Or think of it, whatever is running the machine. Whatever is running the machine. Whatever is controlling. Here I'm saying move AH0. Exist. It's an exit system call. Here move AH4CH. CH. This is like exit 0, remember? And end the program, exit program, 4CH. And we can see it. Oh, I want to, I'll bring it in a minute. And now I t I'm calling kernel. Here's the, these two system calls. Those will let a programmer do what? User, user space and system space are two different things. So, or kernel space. Always think of a, pro of a computer divided to two parts. Kernel space and user space. User space, the one you've been using all the time now. Kernel space, I don't think any of you ever used it or went to it, but now is a good chance to get to know it. How do I access kernel uh, space? Because we want to be careful. That's really sensitive data. It's the operators. We use system calls. System calls. Uh, some of the system calls are fork, socket. If you ever heard of a fork, this is to create a new process. We have socket. This is for uh, uh, networking. And what do we have also? Write. Those are all system calls. Check them and see. But don't go that deep in it now. I don't want to confuse you. And hopefully after I finish the assembly and advanced C++, I'll go to networking and we'll do the system calls or the programming. So hopefully this answers what's the system call. All this we don't need in Airbind. Airbind gave us what? Really easy. We did what? And Airbind move, EDX, we didn't need this in Airbind. Those two lines. We used instead of this, we used the call write string. So this is what Airbind did. He went and did a micro and said he programmed the call write string as this to make it easier on us. That's why I call it high level assembly. And instead of this, he he did exit zero uh, and uh, main end process and all that. So hopefully this was helpful, guys. Let's stop here. I know it was a large. Uh, lecture but i want you to know every piece of it what does this mean so you don't get confused when you see uh, uh, a code a low level assembly code because i consider irvine is really easy it's it's not that much different than c it's a lower level but an easy level this is really good. If you program this way, you know you're a good programmer. This is gonna 
prove your uh, C++ skills really good. So please guys, focus on it. Focus. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below.